Hello guys and girls, welcome back. This is just a quick video. Uh, I did explain on my second two pound coin hunt that I had a second bag, sealed bag, from the post office of sealed bags. And it's dated the 13th of August, 2021. Same date as the bag I had uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday or Saturday? Anyway, uh, you saw me open it, so you know this is a, this is another bag, but it is actually dated the same day as my last 50p coin hunt, which was a disaster because it was all um, 2019 shields. I think this is the same, but I thought it would be a shame not to film it um, if I didn't check it and there was something exciting in there and you didn't share it. So here we go. I'm going to get them out. Oh. <laughs> So I can see straight away we've got some shiny coins and um, I'm just going to quickly uh, go through them. Sorry, we're on the tilt a little bit here. What's happened? Okay, there we are. So these are all sealed bags, but they look like they're all shields again, exactly the same. They were uh, bagged at Birmingham, same date, and they are all, I believe, 2019 shields. But I thought I'd share that with you, just so you could see. Um, I had a little grumble about uh, the fact that we're having trouble getting these coins and what's the point in the mint actually producing them if we can't get them from the banks. Okay. okay. What else to do apart from... I could do this organised and open every single one in front of you, but I don't want to bore you and produce a terrible video, which it wouldn't be much fun, would it? Not much fun, I can tell you now, looking through it. But um, but I can't not check, because I really need to know, um, in my, for my own peace of mind, that there isn't actually a bag of cues slipped in. Oh, I know. I've got a brilliant sense of humour. <laughs> OK, can't see anything different at all. Not a sausage. Because the second time around... And I'd like to know every time you get one as well, please, just for interest. And um, and also uh, whereabouts in the country you are, because it makes a difference, I think, when these things are bagged up and sent out. Um, I'm in the central south of England, and this is the third bag of the same coin that I've received of £250 worth. That's the third time I've only been collecting since the beginning of June. So, there we are. So, two, uh, sorry, 50 peas are off the menu for a while. We won't be um, taking any more of these for a while. We'll be doing £2 coins and maybe even I've thought about euros this morning as well. So, because there's quite a lot of those. And um, it just takes a little bit of thinking about you've got, obviously got to plan it. You've got to do it. Um, there are ways you've got to pay your fees, of course, because you've got to do it in a legal way. Um, and there's taxes to be paid on these things. But um, I'm sure there must be a way that you can get hold of euros and there'll be much more selection. Ah, some regular trips abroad, I feel. <laughs> Might be the order of the day. There we are. Anyway, folks, um, I thought I'd share this with you again, only because I wanted you to be aware that when you pick up your bags from the post office um, or anywhere else for that matter oh, you can always have a sneaky peek you know you don't have to take them I know you don't want to upset your your bank or your post office especially if you're a regular there but um, there isn't much point in bringing them home and taking them back now that really does cost the bank money to um, turn them around like that but if you take it out of one bank you're producing a statistic on their spread spreadsheet for um, or balance sheet and you pay it in somewhere else and then you do the other way around you're actually you know you're making more business money's going around it's what happens every day of the week when you go into a shop you spend money the shopkeeper takes the money puts it in the bank you go to the bank you get more money out and you go back and you buy more shopping so uh, money's round to go round except for the 50p of course <laughs> anyway folks uh, thanks very much for dropping in Fabulous seeing you as usual. Thanks very much for your support. Take care until the next time. Bye-bye.